want to go back to the verse about okay. the three, yeah, yeah. three men, isn't it? Yeah. So if you're thinking mm. that that is um, God, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Literally God. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't that be contradictory, though? No, because we believe in we believe in the triune God. The way I was telling you in Genesis 19, 24, it says, yeah. Then the Lord, which is Yahweh, rained fire upon Sodom yeah. upon, and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and from fire from yeah. the Lord yeah, out of heaven. Yeah, so we believe in a in a Godhead, but we believe there's three persons. Yeah, but and Lord I mean, is cut to L O R D, which means yeah. Yahweh. Listen to this. But to apply that three listen men. To this, wait, 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 wait. Yes. Listen to this. Oh, I'm talking to I'm the people in the Quran. Quran. Brother, just, just okay, I'm the Quran. Quran. To apply that three men. Yeah. 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 Ishmael. No one has seen Allah God in their full okay. The Wait, Quran, exactly. Honestly, Allah knows best. Nobody has seen God in their full glory. Yes. Because we would die. Yeah. But God can manifest himself. The way the way how Jesus yeah. Yeah, yeah. is God, but manifested himself through human tissue. Nobody can see God in his full glory. But we can see God with different manifestations. Yes, yeah. But if the Bible says that no one has seen God at any time, uh, yes. then another part of the Bible says Abraham saw God. He saw Jesus. In his not in the full glory of Jesus yeah. Christ, he saw Jesus in a different glory, in a different, in, in like in, in a human movement. Yeah. So nobody can see God in his full glory. The way Allah has a rule over himself, you can't see Allah in his full glory. Yeah. The same way we cannot see God in his full glory, but he builds himself hey, in different hey, manifestations. Hey, hey, yeah, That's how we saw this guy. Okay, yeah. So I was yeah, so as I was nobody can see God in their full glory. That's why God, Jesus, he built himself. He put well, his glory and put yeah. human hey, tissue. No, so we like, can't see okay, God manifested through human tissue. But and we can't see hey, God bro. in that state. Not in the amen, amen to that. Bro, do you believe God can come we down to the spirit? Mm. Can he? Yeah. Okay, this question, this question has been asked like a lot by Christians. Like, yes. Can God do this? I'm going to ask them. I'm going to ask them. Okay. Yes or no? I'm going to ask them, bro. Go on, go on, go on. People are like, people Christians, especially. Yeah. Ask the question. Who's can camera? Who's camera? This, or can you go do that? Can Allah come down at earth? Can Allah become a man? Yes. Mm. No, it's not a matter of can he, it's a matter of like will he. Mm. For example, okay, Allah comes down to his creation every night time. Allah during the during the night when it's the hujud, Allah descends to his creation, to the to, the, to his creation and comes to his creation. So why could say so our God, we yeah. believe God came down in his right, creation and, inter and interacted with us? I, I personally have never heard that Allah descends. Yeah, he he does he descends on earth. Right on the lowest heavens, he descends. Is this like so he comes down. I think it's in this yeah, where he comes down and uh, in the, at night time to interact with his creation. But we believe our God yeah, yeah. came down in human tissue and interacted yeah. with his creation because we believe God can do anything he wants to do. Yeah, we believe God can do anything he wants. But if I were to ask you, you know, like Joe Biden, he's a president. Yeah. yeah. If I were to ask you, can Joe Biden work at McDonald's? Yeah. You say he can, yeah. Tell if, if he wants if he to, to yeah. Can, but he's not because of his. If that's like a president, yes. he's not going to work at McDonald's. Mm. The same way, Allah, if he wants to do, he can come to earth. But because it's not been fitting of his majesty, he's not going to come down to earth. Yeah. That, but you know, Allah, Allah, Allah did something which is really odd. But Allah blew into Mary's vagina. You know, I, I never heard Allah that. blew I never heard into that. Mary's vagina in Surah 27, verse 19, I believe it is. Mm. Where, you know, he blew into Mary's vagina to create Jesus Christ. That so that's something which men would do. So like, is this like sex, right? So it's, really, it's really weird for him doing that. So we that. believe God, right? He came down where, and did where, it to where This is in the Quran. So I think. blew on Mary's um, Yeah, so, so the way how it says it, and remember in Surah 21, verse 91, and remember the one who guarded her chastity. So we breathed into her through our, through our angel Gabriel. Making yeah, her and her son a sign for all people. So, I, yeah, that's oral sex. Like Allah blew into her vagina through the angel Where Gabriel. Is uh, it means this is a part of jaha. Part of jaha means it means like sex. Vagina means vagina. So Allah blew into her oh, vagina. I need to ask someone in Arabic. I don't know Arabic. Yeah, so he blew into her vagina. So that's something that humans do. You know, like have oral sex do all these things. So like that wise, we believe. Brother, we believe God in his nature could do anything he wants to do. And God, oh, that, yeah, no, and because no. God wanted to interact with his creation, yeah. he came down, put on human tissue yeah, yeah. to interact with his creation, to represent human, uh, the human human race, to show us how to live life. You know? Yeah, but you know, in Islam, that's blasphemy because even in the Bible, yeah. the commandment is don't give yourself any graven image because yeah. God is not like anything in the sky. Yeah. In the sea or on the land. Mm. Yes. So Jesus, he came with Exactly. Man. So, you know, you said the Bible said, so Jesus also said right, to Satan, you should worship the Lord your God only. But Jesus Christ, he said that to Satan. If he is saying this is to Satan, why is he accepting worship from men? If Jesus isn't God, why is he accepting worship from men? He was the one who said to Satan, you should worship the Lord your God only. But then again, we see incidents in the Bible where 
Men are worshiping Jesus and he is accepting that worship. Why is that? Because Jesus is God. Where in the Bible is Jesus be worshipped? I don't think, I've never heard that. Where Thomas, where Thomas said to Jesus, my Lord, my God. Oh, I've heard that one. You know, and well, we see in the, in the book of Revelations, where the throne room is there and the angels are chanting, holy, 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 you are God. You know, that our angels are there worshipping um, God in the, in the book of Revelation. And in the throne room of God, we see Jesus sitting in the throne. So we see Jesus is accepting the worship. He's not being rejected. But again, again, that, that's also contradictory. How? Oh. you that God, Jesus is sitting next to God, how many of them say there's no God with me? Yahweh said, I'm yeah. the Lord of God, there's no God with yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we believe in a triune God. And Jesus and the Father and the Holy Spirit, they eternally had a friendship, relationship, before the beginning of time. So when Jesus came on earth, yeah. he simply had that, had that, he simply had that relationship with the Father here on earth. So when Jesus was praying to the Father, it was simply him just communicating the way how he's doing before the beginning of time. So I have a, I have a general question. So you see, I don't know exactly where, but I think you might know. In the Bible, a man comes to Jesus. Yeah. And he asked him like, good, good teacher. Master, yeah. Good teacher. What so, is the okay. most important of the commandments? Yeah. So I know. So when, when Jesus said, "Why call me good?" There's no one good. Okay. Jesus says, "You repeat what Moses said." He said, "The Lord your God, the Lord is one." Yes. So that man who asked him was yeah. already a Jew. Yeah. yeah. So, so when Jesus said, "The Lord our God is one." The yeah. Believe. yeah, and that's true because Jesus calls himself God, he calls himself the Lord, and the Lord our God is one because Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath. So, why didn't he like pay the Trinity to that Jew? Because well, that Jew went away mm. thinking that what he believed already is true. Mm. So, if the Trinity is true, then but Jesus, a lot of Jews they must have believed in the Trinity because we can see the Trinity in the Old Testament. But no Jew believes in the Trinity, even to this day. They don't I mean, some, some Jews, I, I think there is, I don't know the names of these rabbis, but there are some rabbis that, that may believe in the Trinity because I look in the Old they Testament. Jews, be I, look, I look in the Old Testament and I see the Trinity in Genesis 19, verse 24. We see the Trinity. In Genesis verse 25, I show okay. In Genesis verse 35, we see the Trinity. When you know in the in the burning bush, when the Lord came and spoke to Moses, he said, I am. When God wrestled with Jacob, that was Jesus wrestling with Jacob. In the Garden of Eden, that was Jesus walking walking in the Garden of Eden. No, I'll show you, I'll show you why, because it says in scripture, it says I know it's in the old testament where Jacob wrestled with angel, that's why he called Israel. Israel means he who wrestled with God. So but he was wrestling with the angel, would he not? So here it is, right? So no. It said here, so then God said to Jacob, yeah. right? This is the father speaking in the Old yeah. Testament. Then God said to Jacob, go up to Bethel yeah. and settle yeah. there and build an altar there to God who appeared to you when you were fleeing from your brother Esau. And we know Jesus said nobody has seen the father. And because Jesus is the image of God, he is the Logos, he is the expression of the father. It must have been Jesus who appeared to Jacob. And here it says, then God said to Jacob, go up to Bethel and settle there and build an altar there to God. So we can see the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. Because they said the same nature, they are one in substance, one in essence, whatever you want to call it, and one in nature. Uh, one more to is that it's really, it's honestly, it's polytheism. So it, it, it's not really, because a lot, a lot of, um, you know, Greek gods, the, the pagan tradition where Muslims so-called say, oh, this, it was a pagan tradition. But these arguments came after the Trinity was established. The Trinity was always there in the Bible. We are the Trinity. We are soul, spirit, flesh. You know, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, these are three in one. The same way how we are three in one, because we how are soul, come, how spirit, come, and flesh. How come the Trinity is nowhere to be seen in the fourth 400 years of Christianity? It's seen in the Bible. But, but in the first no, so, so in So in 300 AD, there's a guy called Arius, Arian, where he debated the divinity of Christ. So a lot of people uh, believed that Jesus was God, Ignatius and Polycarp. These are church fathers in the first century when they, they the Holy Spirit, though. they believed. I'll say the Holy Spirit is a bit debatable. They must have came in a, like in a yeah, first, no first century. That the Father, the Holy Spirit, but they, they believe they believe that Jesus. They believe Jesus was, was God. The Father and Jesus, yeah. But yeah. Never, no one believed the Holy Spirit was co-equal with the Father in the first few hundred mm. years. No, that's right. Um, that, 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 yeah. but, but, and that's what I'm saying. A, a lot of church fathers, like the Sahabas, they had many different opinions. Church fathers yeah, had a lot. The Akita, they never had a church problem. fathers had a lot of different opinions, but we can see the Holy Spirit is is God because he's an eternal spirit which he says in the book of Hebrews that the Lord Jesus Christ was did die um did die I, I'll show you the words right it says this right let me get it um yeah because that's why I know all our in Islam all of our core major doctrines whether you're Sunni Shia Ahmadiyya Salafi yeah, all of our core doctrines have been established during the lifetime of the Prophet until the present day my different something but when it comes to Akida all our Akida are the same so here it says in Hebrews 9 14 how much more with the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit the eternal spirit is the Holy Spirit if the Holy Spirit is eternal he must have been God 
So we can clearly see in the Bible the Holy Spirit is also God. He also has shared the same nature of the Father and the Son. But the council, as I said, in Ni Ni Nicaea, where, where they debated the divinity of the Godhead or Trinity, yeah. that mainly came because there was a conversion, there was a debate on Arianism, where somebody doubted the divinity of Christ mm. and he said he wasn't God. Yeah. But then in the council of Nicaea, they did, they settled the, the, the debate where the Holy Spirit is God, the Son is God, and the Father is God. Yeah, so, that, yes. the so we also see, but, we, but if you look at the Bible clearly, you can see the Father is God, the Holy Spirit is God, and the Son is God. But when you find verses in the Bible like the Father is greater than I, mm. and the Father is greater than all, yeah. and when you find other verses like in John 73, yeah. where it says, You are the only true God, like these verses are problematic. Yeah. When well, the, when, so, with the Father being greater than Christ, that's because Christ was in his human nature. Because Christ lowered himself, he was made lower than any angel. So the Father was greater than Christ in that aspect. Yeah. And in John 17 verse 3, if you look at John 17 verse 5, yeah, yeah. it says, Father, glorify me with the glory I had with you before the world began. Yeah, yeah. And this is talking about divine glory. And Yahweh shares his glory with nobody else, only than himself. So we can also see Christ is Yahweh because the Father, Yahweh shares his glory with nobody else. So why is Christ saying that? Father, glorify me with the glory I had with you before the world began. And also, John. 70 verse 5, and also, yeah. 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 And it, also, if you read the, if you read the, the, the uh, first John, yeah. the letter of, of John, yeah. and he, he, he talks about Christ, the eternal life, who was with the Father before the world began. Yeah, yeah. So we can see Christ in that yeah. aspect, he's eternal. But if you look at all the four wonderfuls, John is the only one where we see all these divine attributes. Yeah. We don't see them in Mark, Matthew or Luke. Yeah. We do, we do, because as I said, they, they had different audiences they were writing to. The Synoptic Gospels and the Gospel of John, they were writing to the different, uh, you know, groups. Uh, and they, writ they, they wrote it in like, um, to different audiences. So uh, like some must have, one must have rated to the Romans, one must have rated to the Hebrews. So they match the audience levels. And um, yeah, we see the divinity of Christ in the other Gospels. For example, in the book of Matthew, where, and the book of Mark, Christ calls himself, I am, he said, I am the Lord of the Sabbath. And we know only God is the Lord of the Sabbath. Yeah, yeah. We also see where Christ says, uh, John, isn't it? No, that's in the book of Matthew, Matthew and Mark. Yeah. And we also see in the other gospel where Christ says, um, the Lord, he says, he says somebody says, uh, says to him, you know, like, are you the son of David? Then Christ said, how can I be the son of David when, you know, when, so when, when he said, let me get the verse, I can't remember it on top of my head, but. Uh, but uh, how do you do that? Like, what do you think of like, what's your opinion on four different with the disciples about, about uh, keeping the, the law of Moses? Pardon? So, when it, so here it says, right, um, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. The Lord said to my Lord. So we can see that also is a divine attribute class to Christ. But what do you say about Apostle Paul? Uh, okay. <laughs> what, what's your opinion about Paul differing with the disciples about the yeah. should be kept on yeah, so as I said, like the way how the Sahabas, they may have had, they may have had just disagreements with the Quran or some laws in the Quran or the recitation yeah. of the, of the Quran. What they differed in, right? Some Sahaba might not have heard what the Prophet said. Yes. Because um, not all the Sahaba were with him. Some were yeah. with him like, all the time. Yeah. Some weren't. So, so the way how they had different recite, uh, recite, different like you know um, debates on recitation of the Quran. The same way these apostles, right? Like um, Paul. And the Jewish council, they had the base if the law was to be followed or we are saved by grace. Yeah. But Paul and Peter, Apostle Peter, they proved through the scriptures, through the teachings of Christ, that we are not to follow law, but to be saved, uh, to, to be following the blood of Christ. Yeah. And Christ himself says that his blood is the new covenant for mankind. Jesus, so we can see, yeah, so we can see the new covenant when the old, the old law has been now, has been done with. So we are now under the new covenant of yeah. Christ which is but, his blood. Yeah, but if you see the disciples, mm. according to the New Testament, they were with Jesus the whole time, yeah. uh, throughout the whole ministry, mm. and they saw everything, and they heard him preach, and that they heard all his parables, yeah. and they heard the explanations of the parables, they saw the miracles, mm. and after the crucifixion, after they received the Holy Spirit, yeah. then all comes along and differs with them. That the reason why is it doesn't, no, it doesn't differ. The, the Peter, he agreed with Paul. Peter well, James, was a close. James, 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 there's no uh, debate in John. James is the leader of the Council of Jerusalem. Yeah, and he was and the Council of yeah. Jerusalem, but yeah. James was never really a disciple of Christ. He came he came to Christ afterwards yeah. when he saw Jesus raised from the dead. The Council of Jerusalem, that was a debate on the Pharisees and Jews to follow the law. But Peter and Apostle Paul clearly said, we are not to follow the law, but we are to be saved by grace. And Apostle Paul, in his, in his uh, epistles, yeah. agrees with the teachings of Paul. And if you look at the Gospels of Christ, he clearly says that his blood will be the new covenant for mankind.
So we can see the old covenant is now done with. We don't need to do the old covenant. Jesus but it's a new covenant. New covenant that someone else he says, I have not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. Yes. So if he finished that verse, he said, I have not come to abolish, to abolish but to fulfill. Story. But to fulfill. Yeah. And not a single dot will pass away till the law has been fulfilled. And when Christ was on that cross, he said, it is finished. It is done. By Christ saying that, he's referring to the work of the Father. He's referring to the, the law of the old covenant. So by that statement, we can see the old law has been done with. Yeah. And because Christ is in heaven, the work has been done. His mission has been accomplished. Mm. We also now know the old covenant has been finished. So we are now under grace. We are now under the new covenant, which Christ said. Well, yeah. You know, he's given us a new law to love, you know, our, our neighbors as, you know, as ourselves. Yeah. And to, that, that, that's yeah. kind of like, if you say, I'm not having a to abolish yet, but now it's abolished. But fulfilled. So yeah. he's talking about that current time to so the Pharisees. At that current time, he did not come to abolish, to abolish the law, but to fulfill. But the law has now been fulfilled because Christ said it is finished. It is done relating to the work the Father sent him to do, which was the one of the ways which the Father sent him to do was to fulfill yeah. the um, the law of the old covenant. Oh, okay. Well, I guess, I, I guess, I mean, in my opinion, too, but it doesn't make sense to me, like, mm. honestly. So, like, if you look at all, like, because imagine, you know, but, some yeah. of the stuff yeah. I mentioned. Yeah. Okay, good. You know, just some of the stuff that I mentioned that I know to my head. The other verses, like in the Old Testament, where the, the Old Testament literally says God is not a man. So yeah. how do you reconcile that? So God, when it says God is not a man, yeah. it's talking about how God in His very nature is not a man. But if you finish the worst, Jesus was a man. But if you finish the worst, yeah. he said God is not a man to lie or to change His mind. God is saying He's not like us because we change our mind, yeah. because we lie. God is not like us, and Jesus never lied on earth. You know, He never changed His mind. He was perfect on earth. It doesn't say God can become a man. That verse you're talking about is in the book of Hosea, it's in the Old Testament. Yeah, yeah, it Testament yeah. Came before the New Yes, but it doesn't say God can become a man. It said in the, God in his very nature, God is not a man. No, but we believe in a hypostatic union, but God later on joined with the human tissue. He filled his divine, he filled into the human tissue and became a man later on. Doesn't say you know, this verse doesn't mean that God, it's not saying God is not a man. It's, it's said, it said in his very nature, it says in his very nature, God is not a man to lie or to change his mind. Because human beings, we lie and we change his mind. God is not like us. He's more than that. I mean, Jesus became a man. He was perfect on earth. Jesus ever changed his mind though? He was perfect on earth, yes. So but, but when he, he cast a Samaritan with him, I was only sent to the lost sheep of Israel. Then later he said, go. Then later he said, gather to all nations. So what was that? So to the smart, what would the smart woman be about? Will come to Jesus oh, to okay. the no, no, Jesus, Jesus was showing a different parable to her. Oh, he was trying, he was trying, he was, he was testing her faith. He was trying to test her faith to see if you read, even though Jesus, even though the Gentiles, they do not really they um, associate with the Jews. Well, Jesus well, was, was Jesus just wanted to test yeah. her faith to see, even though saying, he called her out, would she still come to him for that faith? People are going to say that he was just testing her by saying, "I'm only sent for lost sheep of Israel." Mm. Either he was telling the truth or he wasn't. He was telling the truth, yes. Yeah. So, so if he would only tell the lost Okay, so at that so we believe in the triune God. Mm. So at that time Jesus Christ was sent for the lost sheep of Israel mm. because they believed in God. They the Gentiles the, the, the Gentiles had no idea about God's existence. The Jews, they were the ones to start off ministry with. They believed in they knew the Messiah was gonna come. Yeah. So Jesus started off the ministry with them. But when the ministry with the with the Jews finished, yeah. he then said to the um, to the people later on to go now and preach to all nations so he, through the Holy Spirit. So he changed his mind then? It's not a change of mind, it's a, it's a, it's like a, yeah, one time he said, I it's a, re, it's like a re, re um, you know how uh, in Quran, you have, re, 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 no, no, you have like different, different revelations at different times. And I'll say that at this time, then at that time. Yeah, it's like that. It's, it's, it's so, so, like one time in the Quran, alcohol was told, go and drink it while praying. Yeah. Like that, or come to bread drunk, mm. and afterwards, because it was saying you can't drink at all. Because now. these, the, the Israel, they believed in the Messiah, they believed in God. So Jesus started his ministry up with them. They were waiting for the Messiah. Mm. The Gentiles had no idea that God existed or not. And now, when Jesus went to heaven, now it's the work of the Holy Spirit. That's why Jesus said he will send his Comforter yeah. to tell us the teachings of Christ. So now Jesus has given us his Spirit, which we can then go on to preach among all nations that Jesus is risen and is Lord. Oh. Um, I, I hear the point you make, but well, I mean... Yeah. It was nice talking to you, man. Yeah, I've found I really, a position. Yeah, what's your name, by the way? Ish, Ish. But it's, it's nice talking to you. Yeah, it's nice talking to you. Ish, Ish. Ish, Ish. Oh, oh Ish. Oh, okay. Ish, Ish. It was nice talking to you. I, I appreciate that you were, like, you know, speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking, not aggressive. Because yeah. I saw Ash... Yeah, yeah, because I... Yeah, actually, I, I, I don't want to get aggressive. I want to speak I'm nice conversation. I'm saying talk, but they're shouting, man. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's just because they're trying to hide the people around them. I know, yeah. That's what I came for. I just want to... I just came in to chill. Yeah, yeah, I know. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah. God but you know, yeah, at least you were nice, isn't it? God bless you, man. Yeah, nice. Thank you. Cool.